Today we'll take you behind the scenes at Formula E World Championships in Portland, Oregon. You've seen this a couple times now. They have dry ice here and they're cooling down the internal components. Oh, that can't be good. In the sport, this is truly a game of high-speed chess with the touch of real-life Mario Kart. The idea is to finish with exactly zero energy. Literally go over that finish line with zero energy. It's no longer about saving energy and it's about using as much as possible to make the positions. If you're worried about range anxiety and you want to learn about energy management, this is the sport to watch and analyze exactly what these drivers are doing. It is so cool being here today. You guys might notice Hankook Ion everywhere. That's because they are the main sponsor of this event. All the cars have the exact same tires on them. Not only that, but they have the same battery pack. They have 38 kilowatt hours of battery and they have to figure out how to get to the end of the race. The goal is to get to the end with pretty much zero and they have to be able to strategize figure out how they're going to do that and then there's some cool things thrown in there it's really like watching mario kart but like a real life mario kart they can go over these different zones and then they can activate what they call attack mode they get 50 kilowatts of power boost and then they can figure out how they want to use that when they want to use that it is so fun hankook tires brought me out to oregon to check out the formula e event the world's only single seater electric racing championship so these things are like pretty lightweight, they're 16 kilo. These are the tires that we see out there racing on the cars. I didn't actually realize this before, but Formula E is different than Formula One and the other racing sports because you don't swap out the tires. These tires have to be able to last the entire race. We've actually got their EV specific tires on our Teslas back home. And having driven only EVs for 12 years now, we've gone through just about every tire out there. But settled on Hankook Ion Evo all season. Total pinch me moments going on right here. Like, how can this be my job? After learning they beat every other manufacturer for durability, performance, and they even help boost range due to decreased rolling resistance. When Formula E started, each driver needed two cars to complete the race. So we had four cars in the garage. People said, what are you doing? If anything, you're highlighting the problem of electric cars. Within just a couple of years, significant improvements in both range and efficiency have created some of the most powerful cars on the planet. It's under 800 kilos which is lighter than a Formula One car. Many people never thought that would be possible with a battery in it to make a car so, so light. When Formula started, the power was 150 kilowatts. It's now 350 kilowatts. Efficiency, which is really why electric cars are so good and why they are gonna dominate transportation. And if you thought your EVs at home were efficient, transferring roughly 85% of the power directly to the wheels, Formula E cars take that up a notch and transfer 95% of their available energy directly to the wheels. So if you go from the battery, to the powertrain, inverter, motor, gearbox, diff, drive shaft, wheels, that whole chain, we only waste 5% of energy. These cars house a 47 kilowatt hour battery pack, though only 38 were available for this race. But the most impressive part is just how fast these cars can charge via the world's fastest portable EV chargers. Well, I want to show you something that you don't see very often. The battery pack of a Formula E car. But the most impressive fact about this battery is that it can charge and discharge at around 850 horsepower, especially the charging. It means that this battery can charge fully in five minutes or 15C charging rate. That's impressive technology and it's the core and the heart of the Formula E car. I slid into driver Lucas Degrassi's DMs and was surprised he even answered, confirming that 850 horsepower charging is in fact over 630 kilowatts of power, charging up the entire battery in under five minutes. One of the things that sticks out to me right away is the brakes. Look how small they are. We just have these tiny, tiny disc brakes inside them. You would think that you would need these massive brakes to be able to slow a vehicle like this down, but again, you have that regen braking as part of the vehicle too. With no pit stops to swap tires or charge during the race, managing battery and your tires are incredibly important. You know, it's all about the important stuff here. We have the Formula E race on top, and then we have soccer down on the bottom. I guess I should call it football, though. Along with reduced rolling resistance and a range boost, these tires also offer remarkable traction on both dry and wet roads, along with impressive braking performance and durability to meet these intense demands. It's like, where do you look? In the end, the consumers benefit most from partnerships like these between tire makers like Hankook and Formula E. All right. <sighs> getting my workout in today. Where all of the data and tech is transferred into their family of Ion EV specific tires. And the combination of super efficient powertrain coupled with super efficient tires leads to metrics that you rarely see. 40% of the energy used by the car during the race has been created by the car itself. Because we regen so much, mm -hmm. we got really high speed, 
and every time we decelerate from high speed to slow corners, all this is energy going back in the battery. So that's what's really crazy. 40% of yeah. free energy created by the car. Almost half the energy used by the car has been created by the car itself. It's completely nuts. I love how this event has embraced EVs becoming the first global sport to be certified with a net zero carbon footprint from inception. They've also gamified the experience, adding modern and progressive features like attack mode, where drivers get a 50 kilowatt boost of power when they drive over designated areas. Leveraging power yet tracking energy used to be the first at the finish line. When a driver initiates attack mode, is it a button that they press? Is it something where they go over the zones? And yeah, it's both, yeah. So you have sensors on the cars and sensors on the tarmac. So they have to these three beacons, so they have to drive over the three beacons. If they miss one, then it doesn't get activated. Uh, and then there's a button on the same wheel to activate. They're playing chess. It's chess yeah. at 220, 230 kilometers an hour. So that's what makes it so different from other motorsports where you just literally put your foot on the gas or the accelerator and you go as far as you can. Thank you guys so much for coming to this event with me and I'll catch you next time. So look who I ran into here. Everybody knows Rich. That's not true. They do. That's Everybody knows him. That's not very, that's humble. not true. He's that's not humble. true. Thank you, thank you. Are you gonna buy a book? Are you gonna send me one? No, you have to purchase. Yeah, I can't yeah. just give out books. Audible too. Yeah, I have Get to audible. I have to attempt to make a living, you know what I mean? This this stuff I'll is promote it. Am I supposed to pay for things? Are you see you know what's yeah. weird? It's it's <laughs> weird <laughs> and awkward interacting with another influencer because you want things for free. And I don't want to give anything. I don't want to give it for free. Things for free. We both want things for free. So right. it's like it's like a stalemate. Why do you think I started the YouTube channel? To get free stuff. Of course. To get free Tesla accessories. Obviously. My biggest thing is I hope I could. I don't want to say steal, but I want to. I want to take things that they don't need, like pens, notebooks, uh, posted notes, uh, maybe some nuts and bolts. So if something goes uh, maybe missing. Some candy, food. Uh, other various snacks, uh, toilet paper, paper rolls, uh, Sharpies, maybe, uh, trash bins, 